cloud applications, which means it's stuff that lives on the internet, like Gmail, which you're probably used to, or Yahoo Mail, or Hotmail. You get the concept. Veronica, what are your favorite cloud apps right now? Well, some of my favorite ones include Evernote, which has been around for a while, and you can use it either on your iPhone, you can use it, you know, on the web, in the cloud, and they also have an application that you can download and use. And it's a great way to take little snippets of web content or images or text and save it for later in a syncing kind of bookmark. <laughs> it's fashion. like the little fake post-its they have in yeah. OS 10 or like Windows applications, it's better than except that, it's though. actually useful. It's way more involved, <laughs> and you can set different tags for different posts and make different albums and share them with people. Mm -hmm. So say, for example, you're planning a big birthday bash for someone. Right. You can save a bunch of different locations that you found online or images of stationery that you want to use for the invite and then list all the people you want to have and then share that with other event planners so you can have everything in one place. Cool. It's super cool. The application that changed your financial lifestyle. Oh, Mint. <laughs> that would be the one of my favorite cloud applications for sure. I love Mint. I mean, they were recently bought by Quicken, mm -hmm. of course, so they have that big company behind them now, which is good for some people. Other people weren't too psyched about it, but you this know, This is a hardcore independent VC funded site. What will happen? Because Quicken well, also. Exactly the thing they wanted to happen happen which is that they got bought for a crap ton of money. <laughs> which is so good for them, exactly. <laughs> but Mint, of course, is a finance tracker, so you can add all your different bank accounts and student loans mm -hmm. and other investment funds that you have from place to place. And it all puts it in one place so you can see your, your net worth or, or what you owe. It's just a great way of keeping track of your finances. It's either liberating or terrifying, but it gives you a baseline yes. to work for. It's like, the you'll first be able step to, try to get help. Yes. <laughs> oh, and what it also does is it recommends different um, like credit cards that right. you can apply for different accounts that you can apply for that will actually save you money. And that's actually how they make their money by I saying, believe. hey, try this credit card offer, mm -hmm. or, hey, try this. Well, yeah, in, uh, unless they just had no business Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they, if they actually say how they, what their business plan was before they were bought by Quicken, but I think that was the referrals was how they were making the, the bulk of their money. You and I both love this next application. Dropbox. Dropbox is the shizzle. I love this thing. <laughs> I use it all of the time. It's backup, but it's more than backup. It's basically synchronizing a single folder on your desktop across all of your machines, mm -hmm. although there are hacks, so you can actually have it backup multiple folders across all of your machines. It works across basically everything you might want to run. Yeah, every platform, there's an iPhone app. Mm -hmm. I think there's apps for, for different phone platforms as well, but I'm not sure on that. <laughs> um, and you can pay for higher capacity. I think it's around... 100 terabytes. 100 terabytes no, is the 100, 100 terabytes. 100 gigabytes is the top you can get. Petabytes. They, petabytes I think they go storage. like there's a there's a 50 right. there's a 50 gigabyte one there's a 100 gigabyte one. You get two gigabytes for free. Two gigabytes to start with, and then if you refer more people, they add more capacity right. onto your account. You never need lose your homework or not have access to that special presentation from the office again. Mm -hmm. One of your personal favorite applications of all time. Boxy. It's so shiny. Boxy is a great application. It's all in the cloud. You can watch all your favorite shows and you can see what your other friends are watching. Um, it's just a great way to see content and either watch it on your laptop or, or hook it up to your Apple TV and watch it on your big screen. It's basically an XBMC mod. Mm -hmm. It started out on the Apple TV and then it went to OS X and now it's available on Windows too. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. It's done. <laughs> and I actually tacked one on to the end of this list. You know, Gmail, you know, Yahoo Mail, Hotmail, because you're already on the cloud. You just didn't know it was called. I that. would just say Google in general these yeah. days is kind of like your one go to stop for everything in the cloud because you can have Google Docs, you can have Gmail, you can have a calendar in the cloud, you can have your photos if you do like Picasso web albums. There's a lot of different ways that you can get your content online with Google. I'm going to talk about it later in the show, but I figure out a way to actually run Google Docs locally on your desktop. Oh. Yeah. Fantastico.